Good afternoon, Pastor David. How you doing, John? Welcome everybody to a random moment unfiltered with Pastor David. Pastor, this last Sunday was the Super Bowl and it was a great game. I thought. <laughs> uh, but you know, something interesting there was that they the, the camera was really good on looking at the celebrities and, and uh, the mayor of Los Angeles was there. I saw you. You saw you. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was wearing masks. And uh, you know, this, what are your thoughts? I was surprised, I really was. <laughs> Yeah, that was interesting, huh? I mean, when you hear so many, so much and for so long, so many statements concerning caring for other people and you're selfish if you don't wear a mask and all of that. And yet when when uh, it comes to being uh, at a very prestigious game, you know, to get seats, just to get seats there, if these people actually paid for them, which you know they didn't, you know, some of them, you know, I don't know that the mayor, perhaps he did, perhaps he didn't. I'm not sure Garcetti paid for uh, any of those seats, but they, they go for 15000 up, you know, per seat. So that's interesting. Um, yeah, to see them there and the different celebrities, you know, um, and there were so many, I can't even remember uh, their names, but they're not that important that I would, to be honest with you. But I think I saw it, I thought it was Jennifer Lopez, I thought it was Ben Affleck, mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and LeBron, naturally LeBron, the great teacher of mankind, you know, the, the, the social conscience and, you know, the director of all pure thoughts. Yeah, he was, he, 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 I saw him there too. Uh, one of the things about this that I see, it's obviously, for what it is, it's hypocrisy, obviously. You know, it's that, it's, 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 I think what it has become for us, and I'm trying to find the proper way of saying this, is it has become very obvious that there's a nobility and a peon class. The nobility and the peons. The nobility does what they want, they, they go where they want, they eat what they want, they make as much money as they want, they use the money the way they want, and then there's the rest of us, those who don't um, make it to that upper echelon of, of privilege and status. And so what I think about these people is that, and I, I mean this without maliciousness, I, I believe it's, it's true, that these are people who make their living by being recognized. You know, I say, oh, that's the mayor, or oh, that's LeBron, or that's Jennifer, or, that's Ben, or whatever. They make their living being recognized facially. They spend a lot of time uh, in a lot of, lot of effort and a lot of emotion in uh, attaining a certain place in society so that when they walk through an airport or they go to a baseball game, that the people recognize them. That's that's their bread and butter. That's what makes them who they are. And so what I think is it's very obvious that they can't afford to 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 hide their trademark. And so there they are with seventy eight thousand plus people, nobody wearing masks. And then you have this 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 um, statement made. Well, you're not going to get in unless you have a a recent. Uh, um, form of identification that, that notifies us that you've received your inoculations and this and that one. And I know personally people who are buying these uh, kits, never taking the test and just using the, uh, the verification that comes with having the kit. And uh, I know people who are doing that. I've had, I've had people ask me if, if I wanted one of those kits. And, you know, of course I don't. I said, I said how could I, <clears throat> how can I, uh, pretend that I've had an inoculation, a vaccine, and still preach the gospel with a pure, with a pure conscience. Of course, I won't do that. But I know people who are doing that, and so I just feel that what what we saw on display is once again um, hypocrisy. And and people like like me who might point that out, well, we're looked at as being bigger hypocrites mm. because you know because there was somebody I once heard of who ripped people off and he was a pastor, therefore you're a rip off too, you know. So 
Uh, my call in in uh, in ministry is just to present what is true, and so you know, it's true. What what we saw was just once again flagrant violation of rules for other people, and and uh, these people can't afford to not be recognized. Therefore, they go without their without their masks, and then they lecture us. They try to take the high moral ground to lecture us, and uh, they just have no cachet with me. There's no way. Their, their opinions matter to me. They don't matter to me. But uh, there are those who think that what these people um, think matters. Well, not not to me. I just think it was hypocrisy. Right. You know, uh, and as we use our Tuesday Unfiltered for more current events, and on Thursdays we, we look at uh, the more spiritual things, you know, but it's interesting. It's these same people who are getting upset for people for not wearing a mask. Oh, yeah. And now they're getting away with with out wearing a mask and mm-hmm. yeah. where's does it make sense well of course it does it never has it never will because there will always be a privileged class who who likes to um, virtue signal because it's it's the cool thing to do because um, they pretty much have a an iconoclastic kind of grouping where we all think the same so what is the latest thing that the mover and shaker says is important for me to agree with? Oh, we don't like the truckers. Okay, we don't like those truckers either. What's the latest thing? Mm. You know, and that's basically what it's all about. And and one of the saddest things, and really is, John, is to watch these people who exchange their soul for this world. That's the thing that is this heartbreaking to, to, to people like us is what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? I, I'm willing to sell my soul for to be recognized or to be making money to have a nice warm bed to sleep in or to be able to go to whatever restaurant I want to. I want, I'll sell my soul for that. You know, it doesn't matter if I go through three or four or five different relationships, have children all over the nation, you know, that never see me. No, that doesn't matter as long as people recognize me. You know, they sold their soul for that, and that's what that is, it's, and it's pretty cheap. When you think about it, because today's superstar is yesterday's has been. I mean, you see these guys who went out there for the uh, the uh, you know pre pre game, and you see these older older men who can hardly walk without limping. Right. And at one time they were fierce; they were the warriors; they were recognized. But now the younger people are saying, "So who are those people, and what did they do?" and and they're not as good as these people and all that, that if man's fame is fleeting it, it doesn't last and to me that's uh, that was a great uh, picture of that it was on display this right. this last uh, Sunday pastor thank you so much it, it's a good reminder to keep our perspective on the eternal things it's the only thing uh, that matters right and and uh, yes and not this world has really nothing to offer offer it us. really doesn't no pastor thank you so much for that uh, you know I was seeing I was like oh I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about that on Tuesday and, and so, you know, just this, I, I don't know, it's just uh, it's concerning. Let's just live with pure hearts Amen. and proper motives. Amen. Let's, let's live as if God really exists, right? And if he's watching our, our, our movement. Let's, let's, let's be Christians. Not, again, you know, it's an observation. These are people who are lost. I don't have a, a single reason why I would want to be that person. Not a single one. But they have nice cars. That's nice. They have, they have, good, they eat good food. Well, that's nice. They have a beautiful home on the beach. That's nice. So what? So some what? have some have wooden teeth. <laughs> yeah, some have, some have so many children they don't even know what their names are. So, yeah, John, let's just you know, seek the things that uh, above and not those things uh, beneath, and I think we'll be fine. Pastor, thank you so much for sharing. Church family, do want to remind you that uh, our Wednesday evening services, as Pastor David's taken us through the book of Ephesians, yeah. and uh, I mean those last studies that we have been given have been so practical and just a lot of stuff, and so they've been good studies. And then we're having communion as a church family. Amen. Communion so, tomorrow night. Yeah. So invite you guys to come on out and join us for communion, uh, an amazing Bible study, and to remember that we have our services on Sunday at 8:30 a.m. and 10:45. Always a great time to invite your friends and family. And Pastor, thank you again for your time. Of course, John. Thank you guys for tuning in. God bless you. We'll see you soon.